<laughs> no, I was just looking at. Uh, so I Spice posted uh, a few photos. Oh wow! <laughs> and then all of a sudden, everybody was running with like, "I Spice is pregnant." Uh oh! And then she had to come back and clear everything up. Like I'm not, I'm not pregnant, guys. I'm just fat. <laughs> oh man! It's like no, a little, man. and then I saw it's just like a picture, and she has like her little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little tummy. You know what I mean? But it's, it's not just, crazy. I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat, guys. She's making a little money. Oh, leave her alone. <laughs> 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 that's the that's the worst. To have to come out and say it yourself. You're like, I didn't. You know what I mean? Just... Like, oh man. By the way, oh, oh damn. yeah, I, see, I think I see the photo in question. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I don't know who to hit with the button. Well, ten hours it's ago, she, tw- she tweeted, "Nobody pregnant." N words, just fat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, why do people do that though? Why do people? Right? Are you asking Twitter why they do things? Hit yourself with the button. No, Hit but Rose people, with the people, because this isn't just Twitter. This is a thing. People asking people if they're pregnant is a thing. Like that really is a thing that still happens. Of course. You never ask if someone's pregnant. Never ask. Well, once Yo, they again, can look as pregnant Twitter. as pregnant could be. Just, just keep it moving. Yeah. Unless you're sure. <laughs> Unless you're positive, like. You know, because most fat people ain't just got their belly out and they're rubbing their belly. But at a certain point, pregnant women, they'll just be standing there rubbing their belly. Okay, well, yeah, if you're like walking a red carpet with your belly sticking out in a, some a dress with your whole belly out and you're posing for a picture with your hand cupped under your belly. <laughs> but by the way, even in that case, Ebro, you don't have to say anything because they're telling you. There you go. No question to ask. There you if go. If the question comes up, you're like, I need to find out. You should either know or don't know. Or you can have, uh, you could be stuck in a really awkward moment. I mean, listen, Shawnee's here. Shawnee, I mean, I remember the time Shawnee said congratulations <laughs> oh, to someone. Oh, man. Oh, I knew you was going to bring up old stuff. <laughs> oh, no. I, I was it. trying to be gentleman-like. And <laughs> trying too hard. Hit yourself with the button. I wasn't trying to The fact that you trying, yeah, you were. I was trying to be, you know, happy for her. Congratulations. Bring forward the new life. She was like, I'm not pregnant. Right, you're trying Yo. too hard when you could have just said you look glowing, you look amazing. Thanks for coming. Nah, there's nice no, to meet but, you. but that's not, not what he glowing. meant. No, that's glowing. not what he meant. He meant yeah. she looked fat, and he that's said right. congratulations on but that. But when you're wearing a sundress that got the little elastic right on top of the belly, and you look nine months, what I'm supposed to say? Now, nah, well, now, now Shani, Shani, I'm I'm Shani, to I'm congratulations, agree. Uh, Shani. I'm gonna agree wholeheartedly with, whole, wholeheartedly with you. There are these dresses, I think, and I had to research the name of them so I knew what to call them when I explained them to people. Yeah. The style is called like a baby doll dress. It's baby right. doll. Okay. Yes, right. Where right under the boobage, there's this seam. Right. And then the dress starts there like it's their waist, <laughs> and then it goes out. Exactly. And so if they got a pooch under there or something, it looks like they packing a, 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 a child. Right, and that's specifically made for pregnant women. So no, now you it ain't. No, not see, all of them, it no. isn't, and that's why I had to do the research. Hit yourself with the button again. Wow. Dang. Congratulations. They think that mess is cute, bro. Well, look. And nobody wants all. to tell them. Nobody wants to tell them. You look pregnant. Exactly. With your big old beer belly. Well, then, no, no, the, the C. No, she, with the button again. that one, that lady. That Why are you like, she did nothing to you. You did something to her. Why are you yeah. insulting her on the yeah, radio? You're lashing out. You're lashing, you're lashing out. She at did, her. this I woman did nothing outside. to you. You yeah. got to hold the L. You're refusing Dang. still to hold the L. Yeah, that was my fault. You I know. apologize. I'm sorry. Wherever you are, lady, I still apologize. Yo, oh, Rosenberg, what you got up today, man? Yo, congratulations, oh man. God. Congratulations. Dang. Yo, this woman did. He said, yo, big old beer belly. Like, yo, yo, did she was. really have a big old beer she belly? We don't did, know. But I'm we sorry. don't know. We don't know. We can't um, trust Shawnee. Yo, I, yesterday I noticed there was a conversation going on in sports, Ebro. There was a lot mm. of people. Um, uh, Ryan Clark on ESPN. Uh, my boy Ty Butler. Uh, who's on ESPN Radio oh, here no, in New York? Well, you're going after your man from the Niners? No, they were, well, I saw that. I definitely saw people going after Brock Purdy, but I also saw them going after Josh Allen. Ooh, being like, why is it never Josh Allen's fault? And I think it's what I think, Ebro, is that it's built into a conversation of resentment about how many question marks there used to be about Lamar Jackson. That's fair. That's fair. Well, that's fair. But just because one thing seemed unfair doesn't mean you have to then heap the unfair back onto Josh Allen. Well, no, but it's Sunday it's, was not his fault. Well, no, now you're telling stories. He made some mistakes on Sunday. Didn't throw an interception. 
Well, no, no. There was there was a there's Stefan Diggs going across the back of the end zone. And he threw a short. Yeah, when, about what, when he had a lineman getting like pushed back into him, and he shorted yeah, he him by like short. three yards. Yeah, he and, and then him. and what about two plays later when he threw a perfect sixty yard strike to Stephon Diggs went right through it. his hands. Yeah, well, Stephon Diggs is its own is its own issue that they have to fix. I think they're gonna have to get rid of him, bro. He's been targeted like eighty times. The and and Shakir's been targeted like thirty seven. They have the same amount of yards. So, but yeah, I man. just it's it, I just didn't. I, I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm not going to play the game on why do people love Josh Allen so much. Josh he's, Allen's the man, bro. No, he's Did really you, good at his job. You can't like. There's no when you watch him, and especially if you're a team with a bad quarterback. You're like, I, I would like him to be my quarterback. I, well, I think heartbeat. that's where you speak from. You speak from a Absolutely. place of having a terrible quarterback. Well, and not only that. And that's 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 by the way that's where 26 of the teams speak from basically. But <laughs> yeah. um, in the you're case of Lamar Jackson, who's currently in the process of handing the entire world the biggest congratulations, you played yourself. I mean, if Lamar Jackson goes on to win the MVP and the Super Bowl, guys, do you realize the level of middle finger that is to everybody who doubted him? Well, that goes all the way back to his college days too. That goes all the way back to being drafted in the NFL. Not even this most recent contract negotiation that he went through, where Baltimore gave him everything he wanted, and he became the leader that we're seeing right now. But it goes all the way back to him leaving uh, university. But even Baltimore, even, ba- even Baltimore, by the way, didn't give him absolutely everything he wanted. He got basically everything he wanted. Yeah. But and they were hesitant. He still had to go through a whole rigmarole and back and forth with them. His mom's his agent. He, that's a middle finger to that, too. You know, everybody made fun of him because his mom's his agent. Uh, he kept it in the family. They do their own contract negotiations. Everybody said he could never play quarterback or he wasn't going to be great in the NFL. He's had some off years. He's made it to the playoffs, and then he did some injuries here and there. How long has he been in the league? Six years? Something like that. Yeah, right around six. But anyway, Laura, Laura Stouse, this man is on, on pace to be the most valuable player and potentially win the Super Bowl. After mm-hmm. all of that uh, doubting that went on. Wow. And, and, and by the way, it's an amazing story, and I will be pulling for Lamar Jackson. I just didn't understand the need to then be like, as a result, because I feel like it's fed into that. Otherwise, I don't see how you'd watch Sunday and say it was Josh Allen's fault. I, I mean, over the last few years, you know, do you know who Josh Allen's head coach is? Like, McDermott is not a good coach. He's up against a dude. He's he's playing against the Chiefs, who are coached by an offensive genius. This guy's coach is Sean McDermott. We're never going to talk about this guy again. You know what I'm saying? Like, who is who are the Buffalo Bills? How deep are the Buffalo Bills as a team offensively without Josh Allen? I hear you, but you also still have to, you know, look, he's the quarterback. You, yeah. And I think maybe that's their point. He's the quarterback. He's the the buck, you know, behind him, and the, it's the head coach and him. That's where the buck stops. And when it's time to score, put points on the board. If he can't get it done, it fall, I, many times it falls on the quarterback. That's sure. not unheard of. It's no, not abs- unheard of. Absolutely not. I get it. It's just the comps they're making to Lamar Jackson and John Harbaugh and, and Patrick Mahomes and everyone in, and the, the monsters he has around but, but, him but, and his but, head coach. And, and, I'll, and my retort to you is Josh Allen has been positioned as the man for many, many years and keeps falling short. The yeah. team does. Correct. And so at some point, you would think that people start to point to him, even though on paper, as you pointed out, he's not. it's not as if he's making mistakes. Other people aren't rising to the occasion. I mean, listen, he had, don't get me wrong. Josh also has the games where he does make mistakes. I just thought it was an interesting conversation to have this year. We're in the playoffs. I did not see them coming up short because of Josh Allen. And I think we always have to choose one over the other. Like, well, if it's this, then it must be that. I think you can celebrate Lamar Jackson having the big middle finger year that he's having, and I'm still not going to blame Josh Allen for why the Bills lost on Sunday. But either way, I will give the Bills this, and it's unfortunate. Oh, why why'd you do this? You played yourself. But not why'd as big as I give to the Green Bay Packers, who who really, yo, oh, man, the 49ers tried to give them that game. They, they wanted really to lose. They really wanted to lose. You played That's yourself. who really, honestly, I think should be at the, the end of uh, a lot of the uh, vitriol if you're going to be mad at a quarterback. It would be, it would be Brock Purdy. Oh, because San Francisco just wasn't great on uh, well, Sunday. Well, because it's well, it well because it's not about Brock Purdy, and they try to make him like the quarterback of the moment, and it's kind of like ah. But again, that's that whole thing. That's just because they always make the quarterback so right. important. But that's forty nine ers win the Super Bowl, and it won't be because of Brock Purdy. That's right. But what I and I guess the I, I guess in the reverse, 
if the Buffalo Bills had won the Super Bowl, it only could have been because of Josh Allen. And that's, I think, where they come from, where it's like, listen, this is on your shoulders, and y'all ain't getting it done. Right, so then here it is on you. I I, I, I hear you. I hear you feel me? Yeah. And, also, and also, he's white. <laughs> well... People just want to be mad at a white quarterback. I get it. I get it. I get that too. They're you know same, I mean? the same way. The same way people are triggered by them doubting a black quarterback. Well, that's it. Starts with the doubting of the black quarterback. That's right. Right, which is a real thing that's always existed. And then you're like, let's go look at this white quarterback. He ain't you know? doing what he's supposed to be doing. Dragon. Dragon. Have, have this conversation. Dragon. <laughs>